welcome to my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new, welcome. You know, today we're going to talk about phobias, like the fear of flying. It's actually called aviophobia. And there's about 40% of the population that has some kind of fear around flying. These fears could be around general anxiety, just like irrational fear. It could be a fear of germs can be fear of, you know, dying. When 40% of the population, around 25 million people, have a fear of flying, it's something that needs to be addressed. Now, I don't like to really get into all of the details about the phobia of flying because I have some problems around flying as well. And at the end of this video, I will share my tips and what my issues are. So some of the ways in which you can mitigate some of these phobias when you need to fly because they're so real. You know, people really have an anxiety around flying. You need to find out what works best for you. The first thing you really need to do is be gentle with yourself. Realize that it's okay if you have this fear and just breathe, keep you know breathing and grounding yourself and realizing that you are safe. You are safe. One of the um, exercises that I went through when I was dealing with my claustrophobia, which you know comes and goes, gets better, and then it gets triggered. I found that it gets triggered for me when I talk about the issue, like when I focus on it, then it really comes up for me. So that's why I don't really like to get into the nitty gritties. But one of the exercises that I did once years ago to help mitigate um, the claustrophobia feeling that I would get going into an elevator or going into tight spaces is imagine all of the times in your life that you've been safe all of the times that you've been safe and make it into like this movie, you know, like from when you were younger, from when you were a teenager, from when you were a young adult and all those things and just really um, put yourself into those memories of when you felt safe and that can help you ground and, and feel more safe. Another really important thing that has is so important is breathing. Make sure that you do intentional, mindful breathing. There are a couple of different things that can help you with breathing. It's not just breathing. You know, these couple of breathing tips can be super helpful. One is to breathe in for four or five or six, whatever you want. Breathe in for four. Hold your breath for four. Breathe out for four, hold your breath for four, and just repeat that until you calm your nervous system. Another trick that I learned from my friend, Sally, is to do this kind of breathing where you would breathe in for four and then breathe out for six, seven, eight. Breathe in for four, breathe out for five, six, seven, eight. Because when you breathe out, it's like, and that relaxes your nervous system. When you get anxious and, and have anxiety, we go <gasps> and we do that. So what we want to do is take a, a shorter inhale and a, <sighs> a longer exhale. And that helps to calm your nervous system. And that can help you when you feel anxiety. You know, another thing that really creates more anxiety than necessary is when you're late. And I know I talk about that a lot on my videos. When you're late, you create all of this commotion in your body because you're, are you going to be late? Are you going to miss your flight? You know, oh my gosh, the line, the line. And then you create all of this anxiety around being late and that can aggravate anxiety feelings in your body. So you want, if you have fear of flying, if you have some issues around flying, you need to make sure that your whole experience is calm and that you know that you're safe. I think that's the most important part. Breathe and know that you're safe. Another tip is to have internal conversations with yourself. 
We know how would you talk to yourself as if you were a child and you were loving that child and giving them all of Nico's right here. He's like, I'm a child, love me. <laughs> giving your child inside of you all the love that you can give, um, you know, speak to them like you would be speaking to a child in a very loving way, a loving way, and um, allow them to, to let that anxiety flow through and then dissipate. And that can really work as well. And also, you know, focusing on the good, focusing on where you're going to go, that you're going to land and be safe, just really focusing on the good, knowing that this trip is going to take you to someplace fun and knowing that you're going to be in a great spot, knowing that you're visiting your family, just focus on the good that this trip's going to provide. And of course, if it's really a, you know, a very difficult situation, you can see your physician and find out what would be the best solution for you if you need to have anti-anxiety medicine or things like that. I mean, those things are really, really real and true. And everyone handles anxiety differently and everyone ha handles their fears differently. And I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, I had posted a video a while back around what not to do on the airplane and to pay attention to what's around you. And a subscriber pointed out, because I was talking about the whole airplane has their window shade down, but this one person had hers up. Well, this subscriber pointed out to me like, well, maybe she needed that window shade up for her anxiety. So I thought, wow, that was such a great point. And I was appreciative that he brought that up to me, he or she, because we don't know what people need and what their anxieties are on the plane. So we need to be gentle with ourselves and with others. And I think if we can just be gentle with other people and be kind and understand that there are people on the plane that have anxiety, I think that that also would help us handle our anxiety. And I'll share with you what I do, how to mitigate my fears, because sometimes and I travel a lot, I do get a little weird on the airplane. So I have found what works for me is a couple of things. First of all, I personally like to be on the front in the front of the plane. Now, it's irrational, there's no reason. I've, I've read and know that being on the back of the plane is safer, but for me, it's not about being safe, it's about being in the front of the plane. <laughs> I like to be in the front of the plane. If I'm there, I feel good. Um, if I end up getting in my head, like if I talk about anxiety for some reason, or if I talk about something that gets in my head and starts looping, and then I start getting that anxious feeling, what happens, what helps me, and I know this is going to sound weird, but it's just to touch someone, <laughs> is just to touch someone. And now I have had to do that a couple of times, and I ask, is it okay? <clears throat> If I touch you, I'm having some anxiety. Everyone's always been really, really kind. Um, I'll tell you a really funny story. Well, it's not funny, but it's funny. Is um, Years ago, I was walking in the plane, and there was a lot of people around me, just a lot. Like I was walking down the aisle, and I started getting that feeling that I want to run. I get the feeling like I want to run out of the place. And I was in the middle of everybody, and I got that feeling and um, I turned around like I was going to run, and there was someone behind me, and without even asking, I know, crazy, I, but it was just an automatic response. I put my hands on his. He was rolling his suitcase. I put my hands on his, and I said, I'm sorry, and um, I kept it there for a second, and he saw the panic in my eyes, so he was very kind, and just the act of touching someone else grounded me and made me feel better. So the whole point of this uh, video is to acknowledge the fact that there are many of us out there that do have some sort of irrational, rational fear of flying. And it's very good for all of us to understand so that we can be cognizant of other people and um, just be kind. When we're flying, we just need to be kind. Use your breath when you get frustrated. Those um, breathing tips that I gave you really help in 
every aspect of your life. So um, I really hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that it's opened your eyes to see something. And I would love it if you would share your experiences. Do you have any phobias? How do you manage them? What is um, What works for you? I've shared my story. <laughs> so anyway, um, please like and subscribe this video. It would really help. And share it with your friends. If you have some friends that might have some um, issues, share, share the video with them. So thanks very much. And you have a really great day. Ciao for now. Bye.